Before the video starts everyone, if you are someone in GTA 5 online who's literally broke zero dollars, uh, go check out Easy Looting for boosting services, modded accounts, modded packages, modded outfits and much more. You guys can also use my discount code Juno for 10% off on this website and once again bro, they're a reliable website. You guys can contact them, get boosting services, modded accounts, everything you literally need in GTA 5. So once again, if you're someone who's struggling GTA or you know your account just got skimmed, then this is definitely a place to go off and get a brand new account. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new and solo GTA 5 car merge glitch after the recent patch of 1.60. The requirements for this glitch is that you guys will need a festival bus inside of your office garage, a donor car inside of your auto shop, a bunker, and that is literally it. Um, anyways, guys, let's not waste any more of your time and let's get straight into the glitch. And also, if you obviously have a struggle with anything, please let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, to start this glitch, you guys are going to make your way to your office garage, which has a festival bus inside of it, like I mentioned. And you guys are just going to simply drive it out. Anyways, once you guys now drive it out like that, you're basically going to try your best to try and crash it back in. So it gives you the option to return it. It might take a couple of tries. The best way to do it is by reversing in. Anyways, you guys are now going to return it to the garage it belongs to. For this car, for instance, it is belongs in Office Garage 2. From here, you guys will now get put on an infinite black loading screen. If you guys are on PS4, join Anawak 2P4. If you're on PS5, join Anawak 1P5. And then for Xbox One and like Xbox One S or whatever, I'm not going to lie, I forgot what the usernames were, but in the pinned comment, it will tell you, um, I'll put the names on how to spell it for Xbox and stuff, so yeah. Anyways, you join them and you get a private alert. Also, if you for some reason can't find Anawak, to get a private alert, just tell your friend to go into like a titan of a job in an invite only session and that will work for a private alert. From here, you guys can either use a CEO buzzard and make your way to your bunker or you can drop teleport. Both of those options will be completely fine to do. Also, um, by the way, if you want to do this glitch solo, then obviously use Anawak because then, you know, you don't need any friends. You can do it all solo. And also, Anawak doesn't have to be your friend, by the way, for you to join him. You just join through his profile. From here, you guys can either use a CEO buzzard again and make your way to your auto shop or drop teleport. Anyways, once you guys now make your way to your auto shop, you're going to hop inside of the donor car, which is the car you're going to be using to transfer the mods to. Anyways, once you guys are now inside of here, what you guys are going to do is, is now just back out straight away. And you guys will know you have done the glitch if in the top left-hand corner, you still have the right D-pad anywhere option, which I clearly do. Now you guys are going to make your way to grab some snacks, click right in the D-pad, and now you're going to join someone in a private alert. For example, Anawak once again. You're going to join him, and then basically, um, every time you accept an alert, you want to wait a couple of seconds. So wait like two seconds, accept this alert. And then you're going to get another alert straight after this one. You're going to wait like another two seconds and accept that one. And then on the third one, you wait another couple seconds and accept it. So right now, um, the first alert accepted, second alert accepted. Now third alert, wait like three more seconds and then just simply accept it. Anyways, once you guys have now done that, you guys will, uh, want to start working, uh, walking to one of the service cars that you obviously want to mod. And you guys will know you have done the glitch. If when you start walking, it will automatically just keep going down like this. Anyways, once you guys now go to the service car, you're going to click right on the D-pad. Once you guys click right on the D-pad, what's going to happen is, is it should freeze you like this. Now you're going to join someone in a different, um, in a private session again. So once you guys join them, just same process, wait three seconds before accepting each alert. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Then the car will be merged and then you just have to do a couple more stuff to save it. And also with this method, guys, you do not have to actually buy the service car so yeah, that's also another benefit with this method. Anyways, um, the session I'm trying to run is private. And three, two, one, and boom. Look at that, it's modded. What you guys have to do from here is you just have to make your way to the other service vehicle now and click right in the D-pad so it gets rid of all like this whole like screen because it's like bugging out right now. Um, but you just go click right in the D-pad, walk out of it, and then it'll take you into like the modification of the car. And then you just back out again. So, ready, watch this. Yep, just back out. And now you just hop inside of a vehicle you do not care about losing inside of here. For me, I have like an EC Classic, which obviously I do not really care about. You know, I mean, it's just an EC Classic. Anyways, you just hop inside of it, modify it. And you don't have to actually modify it. Just bring it into the workshop, back out. 
And this is the part where you obviously got to pay real close attention. Back out and start spamming right on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, all right? So look at this. I back out and I'm spamming right on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, all right? Anyways, after you guys keep spamming it, um, you want to click pause because you'll be frozen here. And then from here, you hop inside of this vehicle, which is your service vehicle, change something to it, back out. And then, you know, you guys will now see that the EC Classic has now turned into the service car. And now we have done the car to service merge glitch for free without paying it because all the other methods include of you purchasing it. If this was a helpful glitch, guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, thank you guys for all the continuous love and support. Comment down if you still need help. And yeah, smash that sub, smash that like. Let's aim for 100 likes. Peace.